everyone. Uh, thanks for coming and thank you Tito Abel for this opportunity. And uh, I am very honored and proud to represent the Philippines in Thailand tomorrow. I'll be leaving tomorrow for Thailand. Okay, so there you have it. Okay, before I endorse the Q and A portion with our friends from the media, because I have some few questions for you. Uh, I uh, did mentioned earlier that you've been part of the pageant before as a makeup artist, and after that you decided to to venture into pageantry as well. So basically, what prompted you to join Mrs. Tourism, uh, Mrs. Mrs. Philippines, or Mrs. Tourism Queen International, representing the Philippines? Because I heard all the candidates before that they have advocacies and I myself too have an advocacy and I was surprised that even if they're already mothers they can still represent their country and I know that I can do that as well oh, that's good to know and then since you will be leaving for tomorrow I know that you did a lot of preparations for that pageant so how did you prepare I had uh, endurance trainings because I have scoliosis, so I need to strengthen my back and my legs. So I have to undergo uh, endurance trainings, uh, courtesy of home medics therapy. Okay, I'm sure the members of the pageant major are very excited to ask questions for you. So let's begin with uh, our friend from Mississology, Mr. Ferdinand Abel. <laughs> Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Listahan talaga. Alright, um, Ina, sa ano ngayon, sa current na issue ngayon sa, bat, sa isang teacher na nagpalabas ng bata as a, as a punishment na sa ginawa niya, ano yung um, opinion mo sa ganon or sa corporal punishment? And how can we better discipline students then? Uh, ako po ay isang guro then. Nagturo po ako sa loob ng isang taon lang. Bakit po isang taon lang? Hindi ko po kinaya. Sobrang hirap po maging guro. So, ako po naiintindihan ko po yung guro na nandoon. Na nakmedyan, na, 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 na lahat. Kasi, sa totoo lang po ngayon, ang hirap na po disiplinahin ng mga bata dahil sa environment. Dahil sa surroundings nila. And I believe na yung discipline ay mangyayari po na dapat sa bahay. So, hindi po ako ayon sa nangyari po sa guro. Kasi I think she's been serving the education field ng years na, decades, I, I think. And for just one mistake or for just one wrongdoing, she will lose her license without us knowing what's the real reason behind it, behind the punishment. start at home and we should not spoil our kids too much because if we spoil them when they go out to the real world they will have a very big problem they should stand on their own they should learn to stand on their own and they should know how to respect because that's the most important thing that a child should learn respect thank you and good luck to you next question mr jacob <laughs> Hi, Mr. Gina. It's me. Um, my question is, can you tell, can you tell us about your preparations for this project? And then follow up question, how many percent are you prepared for this project? Um, I have Norman Hernandez Manuel. Oh, Three. Three. Because I have not worn heels for a very long time. And it's very difficult for me. I was scared with bra guys, but then Tito Ovet and Norman told me that I can manage in that. I will not have any accidents with the shoes. So he trained me very well. We're practicing every day. He's also the one who taught me for the talent portion. So I, Norman, right? I am 110% ready for this pageant because of my The name of my walk is Glam Walk. Na meron pa pong mga opportunity na darating para sa inyo. So 
you have to take care of yourself and uh, grab every opportunity na para sa iyo. Thank you. Next question will be for uh, Mark Arkin Malawi. <laughs>